Okay guys, this is Sunday night, so we have the mini pumpkin muffins there. I put some of the rabbit cereal with chocolate there. And some um, popcorn with um, cranberries and some pumpkin seeds. And this is the salsa with the beans that I made earlier. And underneath the leftover rice from last week, brown and white. It's really good. I mean, it's not, it didn't go bad or anything, of course. <laughs> Uh, lime and for my uh, julian uh, this is a breakfast look at the little i'm gonna call them quiches <laughs> my mini quiches over here they turned out not perfect shape but the flavor is off the charts you guys is really good some um, pickles and the lentil crackers over here here i have some star fruit and passion fruit and some of that uh i forgot what it's called not a butters, that's right, not a butters. For snack, it will be the guacamole and carrots. So we'll touch uh, bases Monday afternoon after school and we'll check on how all three of them did. So my oldest does go to the physical school Monday and Wednesday, so this is his. And the other two lunches are already in the fridge. We'll see y'all Monday after school. Okay guys, Monday after school, let's see, and first up is my daughter, I forgot what I gave for snack, oh yeah, the guacamole and carrots, and she ate it all, which is great, let's see here, oh, her rice and beans are gone, makes mama happy all the time, <laughs> and uh, the stuff I had here, that's funny, she, uh, Left out the pumpkin seeds and seeds there. Hmm. She's weird that way, my daughter. Okay, Julian. Okay, he ate half the guacamole. I might kick his butt. No, no, no. Relax, y'all. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I wish they had smaller containers, though, at um, Costco. Okay, and he didn't eat all of his passion fruit. I don't remember what was here. Oh my goodness, I can't remember what was there. Oops. I cannot remember for the life of me what was there. Oh my god, now I'm really not happy. He didn't eat any of his mini quiches. Ah, Julian. <sighs> I mean, I gave him a smoothie before he left, so a little bit of it. I don't think it filled him up that much, though. I hope he did better on his lunch than his breakfast, y'all. Okay, I'm not mad at him about him not eating the popcorn. I can live with that. Oh boy, I better brace myself for this. This is lunch. Ah! Oh, what a relief. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Okay, and uh, now Kevin, ninth grader. Yes, very good. And let's see his food. Oh, I am so relieved. <laughs> okay, he didn't do that hot on his breakfast. And I wonder if I messed that up by giving him some of the smoothie before he left. We'll have a chit chat about that and see what happened. All right, I'll see y'all later tonight when I prep their food for uh, tomorrow, Tuesday. Okay, y'all, this is Monday night. Kiddos are getting ready for bed. So this is their lunch for tomorrow. I don't know if you've seen my previous video. Please check it out. Meal prepping. Uh, and this is basically the Mediterranean inspired quinoa salad. And uh, banana stuffed with some nutso and some hemp hearts. This is the nutso, guys. Amazing, okay? Forget peanut butter. <laughs> Look it. You see that goodness? I found this at Costco and was on sale, you guys. Maybe you'll find it at your Costco. I just got this like on Friday, last Friday. You know what I mean? And uh, if you like olives but never tend to find good ones, I'm a olive connoisseur. <laughs> I grew up in the Mediterranean eating olives all my life. So I found this is pretty darn good. I found this at Target. All right. Check them out. Okay, moving on. So, um, I put lime on my bananas, hoping they don't get too, too brown. Uh, half a lar bar over here, since there is enough filling food. I'm a little nervous they won't finish it. 
same over here and for my um, son's breakfast I made this heart shaped whoops sandwiches with not so and a little bit of a raspberry jam that's amazing it was made locally no added sugar or artificial sugar or nothing it is tart as it can be but I'm grateful that my um, youngest loves anything tart you guys he could eat a lemon all day like his wella, grandma and myself so it's tart but you know what I take tart over artificial sugars or sweetener 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 he's, he's gonna have enough natural sweet as it is you know what I'm saying and cherries and apple I smothered the apple in uh, some lime I say lime because I didn't have any lemons on hand and I bought lime in bulk from a local uh, ladies garden moving on I found these you guys and I was pleasantly surprised I usually steer clear of any processed fruits but what the hey <laughs> I hate what the hey. uh, moving on uh, so this I found at Target and there's no sugar added you guys many times when they say no sugar added on packages you turn it around and there is artificial sweeteners y'all you know what I'm saying this baby has zero artificial I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you check the ingredients okay so no artificial no sugar added boom that's the snack so uh, for little treats um, I'm adding this for my son coconut chocolate milk yummy you know uh, he's been like I don't want to feel too deprived you know at school they give them all them kids they give him chocolate milk chocolate milk chocolate milk and I was like you know what once in a while add this so he doesn't feel as deprived and you know you know how kids can get you know he never told me hey I feel deprived but I'm sure he'll be happy with that one and for their uh, besides the regular water I'm adding coconut water for tomorrow and there we have it this is Monday night this is you see in front of you Tuesday and we shall get back with you Tuesday after school fingers crossed they make mama happy okay y'all it's monday after school it's kind of cloudy out there so hopefully the lining is not so bad okay hopefully i don't get a heart attack <laughs> let's see this is my son's let's start with this mm, snack looks empty already it had the fridge puree from target without any added sugar it's gone of course it's you know fruits and whatnot yikes uh so the cherries and apples gone which is great Oh, the sandwiches are gone with the nuts. So you guys don't sleep on that. It's great stuff instead of just plain old peanut butter. So go so good. Some um, excuse me. So far so good. <laughs> oh, your girl needs more coffee. That's how it goes, right? Mm. Okay. I don't remember. Uh, oh yay! It's almost all gone, and I packed it good in there. Now this part I kind of went crazy and packed it with super filling food. Hey, damn it. <laughs> okay, the lower bar is gone. That already is super filling on its own. And you guys, the quinoa, chickpea, and triple bean <laughs> goodness over here, of course it's filling. So I'm not going to lose it. I'll just be more careful of how I pack next time. You know what I'm saying? If I put a, a heavy, heavy lunch, I put light, you know, snack slash dessert you know what i'm saying i'm not mad at that i i extra packed it okay and her fruit puree is gone and let's see here uh oh look at that okay so she ate all the fruits and that banana topped with the nutso and the hemp hearts and everything girl had uh how you call that appetite oh my goodness y'all she got done made my day yes it's my daughter Kina. so overall good good success I'm, I'm not mad about him not finishing this here um i will see you guys later tonight uh hopefully the lighting is not even worse because it'll be darker y'all and uh um we'll check back for their meal prepping for did i say monday earlier this tuesday y'all <laughs> I will check back with y'all later for Wednesday's meal prepping. There you go. All right. See y'all later. Okay, y'all. Here we are. Uh, Tuesday night. I'm sorry if I'm whispering a little bit. It's kind of late. 
So I got uh, some pasta here with the ground beef uh, vegan substitute substitution. Um, I forgot the brand, y'all, and I got rid of the bag. I couldn't tell you what it was. Uh, it wasn't our favorite, so we're going to go back to the uh, Bragg's, I believe Bragg's brand, was it? Hang on, hang on, let me show you real quick. This in the pasta sauce was way better. Red Mill, that's right, Bob's, Bob's, not Bragg's, Bob's. Bob's Red Mill TVP is amazing, but I was out, so I used something else I had um, in the freezer. It wasn't that great. I'm not going to do that again, <laughs> uh, but it will do. The kids ate it okay <clears throat> for dinner, and I had leftover for lunch tomorrow. It's all good. They love the pasta. They don't care if they have it at night and then lunch next day, all right? Um, this is real life. Sometimes it's like that. Let's move on. I got uh, some Nutella on pineapple. You're like, ew, Nutella on pineapple. Don't hate it until you try it. It was really decadent. Like, this is a decadent dessert, y'all. Very pushy for a kid. <laughs> really good. Y'all have to try it. Uh, over here, I got some almonds and raisins. Moving on to the breakfast. This baby here, I am really excited and apprehensive. I really hope he eats it tomorrow. So it's quinoa with some hemp hearts mixed in and some ground up macadamia nuts all in here with a touch of maple syrup and some raisins and i tossed in there some milk if it looks a little cloudy it's because i put a touch of vanilla in it almond milk with vanilla and here it's that uh, squishy fruit squishies i call them uh, from target with no added sugar no fake sugar no artificial no nothing okay it's pure fruit puree okay really good so that's breakfast uh, and for snack, half a Lara bar and one apple. They don't have that much time for a snack, y'all. So the apple's already washed. I need to stop touching it. <laughs> and uh, some Lara bar right there. We will check back in with y'all Wednesday afternoon. I just found out that there is a um, Hawaiian holiday on Friday. So they won't have school Friday. So it will be just uh, up until Thursday for the meals. Or maybe I'll just, you know... Make a video on what we're eating at home on Friday for lunch or something. All right. Stay tuned for uh, Wednesday after school. Fingers crossed. See y'all. Okay, everybody. Sorry if I sound out of it. I woke up like four o'clock. Out of nowhere and for nothing. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, so today is... Wednesday after school. Let's check Kina's snack. Looks good to me. And this was her food? Yeah. And the food was pasta, so that's gone. Whoops. And she didn't eat the almonds. It does not surprise me. <laughs> okay, moving on. Julia's snack. It's empty. Yep, it's good to go. That was an apple and half um half a Lara bar. Okay. He did good. Boom. That's the pasta's gone. And oh my gosh, she didn't eat the almonds either. Uh, hey Kina. Let's see his breakfast. He ate the fruit fruit uh, puree. And he ate all of his uh, quinoa that I made. Very good. Okay. Let's move on to Kevin. Oh, pasta's gone. And everything is gone. That's really great. I wish these two ate the, the nuts and stuff. Um, so I'm glad I did have the quin uh, quinoa with the ground up macadamia nuts there. So they get to eat the nuts that way, I guess. Okay, I will return much later tonight for the meal prepping for Thursday. See y'all later. Good morning, you guys. It's literally a few minutes before my son has to go to the bus. Uh, I'm going to do a rush real quick. This is Thursday morning. So I did not do the, you know, I did not show y'all this Wednesday night. I was talking to my mom all the way from Africa for a couple hours and I did not do this video. Oh, okay, so this is uh, papaya, banana and pa lily koi passion fruit. Uh, these are some garden nuggets with a sweet uh, sauce. 
in for his breakfast, uh, just plain old Nutella sandwich, no time for anything, uh, woo, I'm in a rush, y'all, no time for anything fancy today, as you can tell, and it's okay, it's still nutritious and food, all right, apples in the, the Belvita, says it, some of the Belvitas cookies are so yummy, and I believe uh, they have some good grains in them and whatnot, and for the snack, this um, lasts from um, Target. Really good stuff. No added sugar or artificial or anything. Usually when they say no added sugar, you look in the back and there is a gazillion of artificial sugar. Okay, this has zero sugar of any kind added to it. And the um, coconut milk over here, chocolate, and his water. Boom. Ah! I better let him go to the bus stop. See y'all Thursday afternoon. I don't know how that's going to work out since movers are coming today. So hopefully I could get to, to film that. Bye. Okay, guys. Thursday uh, after school. And I'm on, amongst the boxes, movers finally brought my stuff over. Boxes everywhere. As you can hear from my voice, I am beyond done and exhausted. So I'm extremely grateful that the kids have the day off tomorrow. Uh, so let's see, who is this? This is Julian's. I really need good news. Okay, that's not so bad. He ate the entire half of papaya that I put there. Most of the fruits. Oh, yes, the food is gone. <laughs> Let's see his breakfast. Fruits are gone. And just the crust is there. See, I didn't have time to make it the heart, so he left the crust. So far, so good. Moving on to Kina. That's her food is gone. Yes, mama can do a happy dance. Oh, that's so great. Oops. Let's move to Kevin, my oldest. Oh, the fruit is all gone. Wow, they must have been hungry or something. Holy moly. All in all, I think it's the best they've eaten in any of the videos uh, from last week, which you got, um, excuse me, you guys should check out. And uh, from this week, wow. So I'm not sure if tomorrow I'll just do a quick what we're having at lunch at home since they're not having school. Can't promise anything. I am surrounded by boxes everywhere. Hope you all understand. I will definitely do a uh, meal prep uh, video, hopefully Sunday. If all goes good, y'all have a good end of your week slash week, and we'll see y'all soon. Thank y'all.